Let's just slow down for a second. Why? What's wrong? You've just been through a traumatic event that I... I would never want to take advantage of. I know. <laughs> it's one of the many reasons why I trust you. Dex, when I walked out of that hospital, all I could think about was how much I love you. And how devastated I would be if I let my pride and my self-righteousness get in the way of that. I love you too. I couldn't stop if I tried. But I did. And joining the PCPD and getting my life back on track, I need to do that for me. But I'm also doing it because it's all part of loving you. You don't have to prove yourself to me. I appreciate that. I still have to prove it to me. Okay, well... That's between you and you. As for you and me, love isn't a job or a to-do list. It doesn't have to be earned. Love just is. Christina and I started seeing each other around Christmas. I liked her so much. She was so beautiful and such a force of personality. She's, she was so comfortable just being who she is, and I really admired that. I was so worried about my career and terrified about being outed, not because my fans would find out, but because... Because I might find out? I didn't want anyone in the family to find out, especially not you. You afraid I would judge you? I was afraid you'd stop loving me. I mean, you wouldn't be the first parent who wrote off their gay child. Honey, I would never. I know that now. <laughs> but you didn't know that then? How could I? Anyway, around the holidays, Christina and I went to Rice Plaza. And we held hands in public. And that might not seem like a big deal to you, but for us and for a lot of gay people. I would imagine it brings some unwanted attention. And then when some people we knew saw us and said hello, I put my hand away. I didn't even realize I had done it. It was just a reflex, but Christina called me on it. She was really hurt. And it's so crazy. I had gotten so used to hiding who I was and what I wanted. I almost missed out on getting to know Christina at all. I'm so sorry you felt that way, baby. I'm so sorry for all the ways I've reacted. You know, finding Christina in your hotel room. Okay, we've already been that. Right, but also that I just missed your feelings for Christina as a, as a reaction to what a man did to you. I didn't even understand why you walked out on me in the time of that day. Well, I hope you get it now. I get that I was really arrogant. I thought I was giving you some incredible insight about how you were finding safety with a woman because you felt like men were so dangerous. And, and that no way could my baby girl be have feelings for a woman or, or be attracted to a woman because that girl's a good girl. And good girls don't behave that way. Does a part of you still feel that way at all? Hey, did you get a whole step? Yeah, she's devastated. How about you? Are you are you okay? Can I get anything for you? Yeah. You okay? No, I don't worry about me. I'm just angry. I want to find out more. I want to be able to do more to help the people I care about. I, I can't seem to do that. I'm sure you'll find a way. Hope you're right. <laughs>